Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Do I have to report stock purchases on my taxes? When it comes to taxes, understanding the rules around stock purchases is essential. The IRS is clear on what needs to be reported and what does not. And first, let's clarify what constitutes a stock purchase. Buying stock means acquiring shares in a company. This transaction is recorded by your brokerage firm. Now the question arises, do these purchases need to be reported on your taxes? The answer depends on specific conditions. Generally, buying stock alone does not trigger a reporting requirement. However, the situation changes when you sell the stock. Selling stock can result in a capital gain or loss. This must be reported on your tax return. The IRS requires taxpayers to report capital gains and losses on Schedule D. Additionally, dividends earned from stocks must be reported. These are typically reported on Form 1099-DIV, which your brokerage firm provides. Then an IT is also crucial to consider holding periods. The length of time you hold the stock affects tax treatment. Short-term and long-term capital gains have different tax rates. For those involved in frequent trading, the IRS may classify you as a trader. This designation comes with specific tax implications and reporting requirements. And keeping accurate records of all transactions is vital. This includes purchase dates, amounts, and sale proceeds. These records help in accurately reporting gains and losses. NN Consulting, a tax professional, can provide personalized advice. They can ensure compliance with IRS regulations and help optimize your tax situation. N. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.